Yes, sir. You already know. It's your boy B. Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Just want to jump right into it. So, AMC, before we do that, let's give this video a thumbs up or down. So, in our previous video, guys, I know a lot of people took the message the wrong way, but I'm not even going to explain myself. If you, you know, took it the wrong way, I advise you to go back and look at it again and really think about what I'm saying. So, you know, and if you don't get what I was saying in that last video, man, I ain't going to tell you to get off the channel or nothing like that. You can stay and hopefully one day everything will resonate with what I was saying and it'll one day make sense to you. And I just feel like you're still a young investor. You're still a newbie and you just don't really understand right now. So I'm going to give you a pass, all the dislikes. From the video i'm gonna give all y'all a pass i give y'all a chance to apologize later on a couple years from now a couple months from now a couple weeks from now i give all y'all a chance to come back and apologize to Hayes and let me know that y'all sorry and y'all now understand but i don't care if you apologize or not because i'm just keeping it real with you guys and if y'all didn't understand exactly what i was saying all i was saying is got to be an end point somewhere you just can't forever keep averaging up. And some people know, like, well, hey, as I know, I ain't going to help forever keep averaging up. I'm going to stop but right before it gets to 100. Once it hit, before it hit 100, I'm doing all the averaging up I'm doing now. And once it hit 100, then it ain't going to average up no more. Okay, that's fine if you got a plan. But I was spreading that message to the ones that don't have a plan. For the ones that just feel like it don't matter. Like, like AM, it's AMC fanatics out here. So it's like, you know, they don't care like what the price is. They're going to forever keep buying. And they going to, you know, and everybody else is going to be laughing at them when they holding the bag and everybody else done sold and made their money from them to continue to buy at, you know, whatever level it at, thousands of dollars. It don't matter. Like some people want to still keep buying. So that's all I was doing, just letting people know it got to be an end point at some point. You got to stop averaging up and keep your average at a certain, you know, level in order to stay, you know, the same, have the same comfort be comfortable as everybody else in their position like you're gonna be on thin ice keep having your average so high up there around the current price so anyways though back into what we the uh the price prediction on today for this video so we trading at about 37 dollars and 78 cents in the pre-market guys great great trading in the pre-market because on our previous videos we were stating that how we closed on friday was a great sign we closed at 37 dollars and 30 cents not down around support but we closed right around resistance 37 30 it closed right around resistance on friday which was a great sign we'd rather close around resistance than support closing that support would get, put us in a position to where we got to hold that support and we could possibly about to see a breakdown but closing right above resistance is a great indication of a nice upward trend and a push back to green guys closing above 3730 gave us a clear indication that we should see a push up during pre-market or the market open guys and we see it during the pre-market we're now trading at around 37 dollars and 75 cents guys great you know great pre-market trading and we most definitely see this cup and handle pattern forming after you know after opening up on friday at around 37 dollars and then shooting up a little bit and then coming right back down but staying above that 37 38 dollar support and we was ready for that little pullback to 36 we said worst case scenario on friday was 35 dollars we pulled back right in the middle to around 36 guys and we always say worst case scenario because even though we supposed to hold at 37 38 we know market makers can easily manipulate that price for one little dollar to try to hope to get new investors and weak hand shares before ripping the price right back up to where it belongs so guys you already know on today we pretty much expecting to stay up above that 37 38 uh support show us strong strong support there stay up above that worst case scenario will be 35 but we're looking for a nice buying pressure nice push up to test that 40 41 dollars today we break through 41 we could be in the day around 43 43 44 dollars per share guys so you already know let's you know see how the day go this is just my opinion sharing what i think and how i think the price action would do so this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor be sure to do your own research and due diligence guys that's all i got for you guys this video you already know it's your boy b hayes consider joining the family we post content like this every single day also get your free start in the description down below and add your boy over on instagram i love y'all we out and god bless you